Hey guys, welcome to live. And um, we were just chatting amongst ourselves and very rudely did not even um, realize that we had run over time. But this is our last live. I can't of believe the it. What a year. And then, the, when did you start? Uh, I started December of last year, November, like right after Thanksgiving. Okay. So it's also Katara's one year plus anniversary yeah. um all right okay. guys so we have a really good live today and we have a couple different things going on so let me just so grab my notes um okay things we are going to cover today mm -hmm. um towards the end of the live we are going to announce the last holiday gift of the season that we are giving away i'm just going to let you guys know right now it's not a watch i am so sorry that i um i try guys <laughs> see we should have been a watch. No, I'm just joking. This is even better. Um, um, wait, Bless you? an angel gets his wings? Is that from like... I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> that was from that movie. It's a wonderful life. I think so. Yes. Anyways. Um, yeah, I can't. I'll or no, I cannot. I'll movie you. No, you cannot. Um, so, guys, it's not a watch, but it is something really, really great. And we are going to announce it at the end of the um, style class today, which again is our last one of the season. And we are going to let you guys know some things that have come back in stock. Yay. We are going to let you know that on the site, we have five books left. And at the Tibby store, we have 10 books left. So yay, we sold that's some 3,200 books and that's it. Um, we are done and at the beginning of next year for all of you who did buy the book I am going to send you a link to Substack so that you can see updates of the artwork that will start to come in throughout the year but you guys have the one and done made in Italy beautiful book and I am so glad that you guys love the book piece of history um, okay so we are going to go through the style today and what we are going to do is an emphasis on our own personal style yep but a little more holidayed up but really importantly, we are going to be really applying critical thinking to how we are getting dressed so we can problem solve for ourselves. Problem solves and not fixing a bad outfit, but making an outfit make you feel the way that you want to feel. Yeah. And all of this is really next level stuff because I feel like a year ago, we would not have been able to talk at this level. And, uh, and then two years ago, absolutely not. I mean, we were only answering questions about skin sandwiches at that time. So this is good. All right. Um, why don't you start with what's going on here? I will. So I think this year might be my first New York Christmas. Oh. I rarely stay close to home, not being an original New Yorker. Um, and so that's going to mean a lot of activities that are going from someone's house to also being in my home and entertaining. And so I started with the outfit that would be me casually cooking dinner and having people over. It doesn't quite feel like I want it to feel. Mm -hmm. And so I was trying what to think- What feels off? It, it's, I want to say that it's the color, but it's not. I don't feel as like refined, but I don't know that that's it. I feel a little chill and I want to feel chill, mm -hmm. but I also don't want to feel like, I don't, know, it's, I don't know if it's the shirt or if it's the shoes, but something feels a little off balance for me. Um, and you guys- Like I feel very relaxed, but I also feel very like, I'm focused on the shirt and I feel a little bit too pulled together. Okay, so um, we know that part of problem solving is identifying uh, how you feel so that you can flip it on its head. So you yeah. feel too pulled together. So obviously you're wanting here. to ease up. Yeah, a little I bit. feel like it's weird because I feel pulled together here, but mm -hmm. like very eased down here and it's confusing. It's like unbalanced for oh, me. That makes yeah. sense. So, all right, so let's see if you can fix yourself. All right. But again, point, <laughs> point guys. Yeah. This is a good outfit. And this is where, you know, when you go to a friend, a parent, or even a store, and our great stores, asking them how you look is not the right question because you look good. It's not up for argument. Right. Um, you look great. And so it is a matter of, is it giving you the vibe that you want in the moment that you're in? I like you said that because spouses, you'll say, is this good? And they'll say the thing that and you're it's... not talking about. Like those colors don't match. That is not what I'm asking. So I'm gonna try to fix this on my Frank own. Does that shit all the time? I mean, it's you're crazy. You run to me, so yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. So why don't you come up, Bryn? All right. We got Brittany here. Hello. What's going on with your outfit? Um. Do you want me to say where I'm going? What my vibe is? Go for it. Okay. So for me, this would be a holiday um, evening with 
friends or uh -huh. with family. In my family, I don't know if other people feel this way. I've spoken to people in the store and they do also feel this way. For holidays, in, even inside the house, we dress up. Yeah. Heels in the dining room, on the carpet. Like Fancy. we are wearing shoes. Okay. Even, we are not a no shoe household. Okay. And that goes for, my parents are separated, but that goes for both households. Yep. Um, and so for the holiday season, we do find that dressing up is more in our wheelhouse. Yep. However, if, which I love to cook, if I'm in the kitchen, I'm usually sans shoes in tights like this but yep. in my prepped outfit ready to go yeah come dinner time is when i will slide on my shoes interesting and you know bring that more refinement together yeah for me i'm really really craving these colors mm -hmm. it feels like i've taken a deep dive into ring three and a little bit of ring four yeah and kind of pulled it together and those no color colors feel very very strong to me yeah what is feeling a bit off for me I think is the coverage that I have along the turtleneck. Well can I ask you so if coverage is so coverage is how you're feeling very mm -hmm. covered yeah. right so does just simply taking hair back help you with that or you feel like you need more? I think I need a little more mm -hmm. but what's the thing is I love this color so I yep. think for me it would be the simple switch of actually the same color sweater but, but just a crew neck version. Yeah. And just swapping that out. And yeah. the other great thing about this is, is I can also wear it as a sash. Yeah. So I think then that also gives that color, but also while not having the feeling feel like coverage. So cover, question, coverage. if this is holiday time, and this is just kind of thinking, guys, how you should be thinking in your closet about just working things through, does the collar make it a little more sporty or worky for in the house? Like, do you want this sans collar? Or? I think I would do sans collar. Yeah. But I will say, when well, that buying no this, collar for those who don't. <laughs> we're really working on for our French Frenchies, in this office. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of a it's kind of a thing we do. But yeah, I will please say, please don't make comments. Here, like, <laughs> we know, know our accent is that. not. I know. Bien, but we're working on it. We know. We know. Um, but I think for me, I love. Like, okay, Brian, I didn't just I buy it. this piece yeah. for the holiday party, right? Buying this sweater with the um, collar involved in the crew yeah. neck was something that I felt I was craving and missing from my wardrobe in yeah. general and yeah. in a color such as a yellow. But yeah. having the versatility to have the collar and sans collar just makes me feel like I have options and versatility, cool. which I think is great. But yeah, so this is what I would do for this to feel press coverage. Very and nice. yeah, I'll go for that. Katura. Okay. And your change. <laughs> Somehow I'm still not there. You're still not there. No, nope, I'm still not there. No, because I feel like well, I think maybe you're not there because this is something you really do live in every day. Sure. And I think, you know, we talk about like maintaining your through line and being yourself through all the different events. Yep. But we said when we started out, this is yourself, but your holiday self. Right. You're still yourself, but like maybe not so literally. Totally. Right. And when people DM even you both of us right. and they say, Oh, I'm just pulling from what's in my closet and you put it together and you know you have all the great pieces, but it doesn't right. make sense. Like I, I can see myself, but it's funny, I only see it's not even one. You know, it's the same tones of yeah. and I feel a little worky right now. So, so there's something else. So let me ask you this. Yep. Does this change it up for you? Just like really getting rid of seeing the it's less distracting uh-huh but i feel like it now feels like one like i don't know if it's the shoes like i need something like to an imprint. earring or something then like Let's see. change it up this, this gives a little bit more of like okay i'm having something at my house but i wasn't on the couch all day and i'm not at work yeah this definitely reminds me that i'm not at work not huh. that you would double up with like the bling and the bling but like Mm -hmm. Does just something also like creating maybe a bit of um, interest down here at the bottom of the sweater? Mm -hmm. Like, does that? I like seeing something that breaks up the two colors because uh -huh. they're not, it's not monochrome, but it's kind of like shades up. That's interesting. Is it on? Well, I started to, I, I just can't like push this through because I'm being stupid, but I think um, even. You know, like, right, there there was a whole, like, brooch phase and mm -hmm. everything. I have my grandmother's brooch. Phase. Okay, but, uh, hey, hey, this is, like, even oh, just giving yourself, like, a little, a little thing down here. Like, it's not that brooch, but just right. something. 
Because I remember one time when we were in um, China, we were in Chengdu, and I had brought like these gray sweaters, navy skirt, and like we're in Chengdu, and I felt so, um, I just felt too traditional, too mm -hmm. classic. Because like mm -hmm. you're on the streets in Chengdu, like I, I think it is it was the most incredible style in the world. Mm -hmm. And I remember I bought all of these crazy push pins. And I went back to the hotel room and I did like 12 push pins on your top all over my sweater, my gray sweater. And then all of a sudden I was like, I feel like this myself. feels good. Ironic. This feels good, right? Humorous. Exactly. Cool. So anyways, guys, this is taking the things that you own. You can apply this like, of course, this is our thick gray cashmere sweater. Yep. And uh, size, this is size um, large, extra large. Okay. And so but you can do it with a, a gray sweatshirt, anything mm -hmm. that's like your, but this is like really, You'd have me over, or you, when I when you come I would, over to my place and I'm like, welcome. I would be like, I'm Here's gonna party. Mine. Okay, cool. Tell me about what you're wearing. Okay, so um, I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. I, I'm actually like, I landed in a good place, but I just want to show you where I started. Mm -hmm. One of the first things that I did was, I was like, do I want to try? Um, I did love the white tight. Nina was wearing the black tight with the white skirt. Yep. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just flip that over That's and good. I love that. So I put on the white tight, but when I did the black shoe, like, yeah, like my eye just went from like here to, no, yeah. no. And I know there is like a whole bullshit thing happening on TikTok about how whoever does it, she's like, girls, you gotta match up top to your shoes and like create a sandwich and I'm like she said create a sandwich she was like a good sandwich someone from Italy you, sent this to me and they're like I think you have an enemy out sandwich. there she was like sandwich <laughs> she's like fuck this bad sandwich bullshit sandwich um, are good I like the eye to rest yeah I think that you know we constantly talk about creative pragmatism is about finding a balance mm -hmm. and to me when that eye rests you really get that balance so what I love is that this white shoe just makes the whole thing keep flowing. It's not about looking taller or all that. And oh, I don't like my earrings with I was going to say, can I, I'm curious because. Yeah, I don't like my earrings with this. So let's go. Let's. Um, what don't you like about it? Because you have them, it's kind of navy, right? The navy is a little distracting. And you guys know that I love like navy and black. But somehow when I put it on, I was like the navy with the black with if, if this had been all one texture mm -hmm. i would have been to so down with it like great perfect yep. but i think that the texture of the skirt is kind of fighting with what's happening in the navy here if this was a black earring i think i would have been happy but you know we talk about rule of three mm -hmm. and i've got this like oversized clean sweatshirt happening i've got the texture in the skirt and then i've got the white and the tight so it's really four if you add your earrings in and that's why the rule of three would apply well and what i'm going to do is when it's four because that blue mm -hmm. is so distinct but to me and we're, i'll see if this is right because i didn't try on other options but um I, I do think Christopher Kane should make these earrings. He, I, wait, is he still in business though? I think so. Okay. I hope so. I hope so. Um, okay, to me, now this is kind of a one ton or not, I mean a ton vibe. And I'm, mm. so it doesn't, my eye's not distracted. It is calming down. And it's funny to realize that actually this bigger, bolder earring feels more calming mm -hmm. than wearing the blue, smaller earring. Right, like this you mean is like ton stuff. texture, not ton color, because you're not doing ton. You kind of have one, but it def definitely texture can be part of the whole ton component. Gotcha. And I think that this is where um, you really just have to play around in your closet. I don't think it's intuitive that this smaller thing would actually be a bit louder than what this is doing. But, anyways, cool. That's that's my so, opinion. I'm curious, how do you fill your gaps in your accessory wardrobe? Because you have a lot of accessories. So are you ever like, I'm missing long or I'm missing color? Yeah, I do. I um, I fill a gap by, you know, when I buy things, I, I really don't over, over buy. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I buy when I see something that I love and I try not to be too impulsive. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of always believe that the shopping gods want you to have it if you can remember that they exist the next day without, you know, an email prompt. Yep. And I think that if you slowly build up the things that you love, 
then no matter what, it all comes together when you're getting dressed. You've got at the ripe old age of 56, you really start to build up a wardrobe. And you know, a lot of people have that approach with their house. Like when I first met Frank and he's European <laughs> and that was really how he approached decorating his house was each thing was done out of pure passion and that he loved and it had a memory around it. Right, right. He wasn't out, you know, I, I don't know, like growing up in the 80s in the South, like you bought a furniture set. Oh, a set for sure. My grandma yes. has plastic on her still. So, so um, <laughs> you know, I, I really appreciate the other way because it's a very slow build over time. And then there's things like I even bought, and I wouldn't wear this with what I'm wearing right now, but like sometimes things, um, you know, when you feel a little bit uncomfortable, that's often to t the time to really lean into something. And guys, that's a metaphor for real life as well. If you don't feel a little bit uncomfortable, then you're probably not really living your life. So friction is an excellent thing. And what you wanna do is kind of lean into it and figure out what, when are you feeling friction, but you're still really intrigued and I don't know, this is a vintage earring from the 80s and I'm kind of into this, like, it feels, does it? I love it, I just, I do not I'm, like I'm it. looking at you from here up because yeah. I think when I look down here. Don't, don't be looking all the way down. Right. Anyways, <laughs> we'll have a discussion later on yeah. about it, but I'm interested. Cool. I'm not hating it with what you're wearing. I no, that's I think that too. I, yeah. It might be better. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go change my, Let's see. Close. Don't mind me walking on with two different shoes. There's a reason. There's, there's a, reason. a reason. All right, give me a reason. Guitar <laughs> is looking at me like I'm absolutely a mad woman. No, no, I, I feel like there's a method to your madness. So, all right. So, I might be crazy, but sometimes when I'm getting dressed, and I've seen people do this in the fitting room too, mm -hmm. they will try on two different shoes or they'll try on like a different, you know. I do that every morning. What are oh, talking okay, about? so I'm not, I'm not a loner in this. But yeah. I initially, my initial reaction, oh, Sorry, I thought this was the wrong way. My initial reaction was I wanted the bob in crop because this felt like an elevated shoe. I was like, mm -hmm. maybe a little more height. I like the texture of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, that is the shoe. I put it on. Mm -hmm. I felt extremely feminine and it felt not what I was going for in that moment. Not so that it's wrong. Your modifier though is like- it's, And that's the funny That's part. the irony of this whole conversation that because- It's elegant yeah. slash quote unquote feminine. However, I think because that can be my modifier, I lead towards antonym when I'm searching for getting dressed sometimes. Because this part, this is very elegant, refined, right. more on the feminine side, and I do tend to lean in that direction. But I do think, you know. You're pretty chill too. Yeah, and yeah. we are all chill modern classic, which is why we resonate so much with this, you know, everything here. And I needed the chill and the modern and not so much more of the classic. So how'd you switch it? So I decided, okay, what was I, wanting friction against. I wanted something less feminine. And then the other thing I pointed out was there was texture in the croc, and, but there's texture on my tights already. Those tights are good. And I was like, I don't believe I need the double friction between the friction of the croc print and the tight. So my thought was, what if I gave some more openness? And then I thought of big slim skin. And I was like, well, yes, I have skin, but this is much more slim right. than skin. So I was like, how can I showcase that? So okay. I felt if I switched, you hear that rustling? That's the good rustle. That's the good I rustle. I mean, you moved and I was like, man, that's a, I that's really a enjoy high quality fabrication. But anyway. I really, and it has pockets, so. I saw a woman in a t-shirt, kind of like this, but like a short sleeve in the store the other day and she was in the Granger. She was so chill. So, I think this is why you can't listen to other people because yeah. even I would say, you look great, friend, because yeah. this is who you are. You're and objectively, uber, uber, right. it is a wonderful outfit, objectively. Right, yes. but I haven't yet to see you in a heel. Like, you know, you wear heels, but not in this way. Exactly, and I think there's also a deep understanding of like what we all enjoy to wear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to talk about the fact that Brent has absolutely crunched herself into like a crouching tiger situation. Sorry, I had to put and on the shoes. No, but I think that that's the full like value yeah. of the skirt because it's not too precious, right? Somebody no. buys this and they're like, oh, I don't want to do like, things. Yeah, yeah, but you were able to move and do things. So I, I find that funny, but it's yeah. also like, ting. Exactly. You and can be both, exactly. reality. And this is a skirt that you, I'm not just gonna buy for a holiday party. Yes, it probably does lean towards the occasions of a more festive endeavor or an event sort of format. Yep. But you know, what we preach is you're not buying something specifically just for one event. Yeah, you right. might buy it for that event, but the inherent usage of this piece is gonna go so much further beyond that. 
right. which I think goes back to Amy's point. I was actually talking about this with her in her office earlier today. Mm -hmm of like building out your wardrobe. Yep. I'm, you know, 24 and I think sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm missing this and I'm missing this from my wardrobe, but it also comes from the slow build of a wardrobe. You're, you know, not everything is gonna happen overnight and you will find what you're missing, search for that, and then bring that into the wardrobe as you grow. Well, I'm, I'm probably getting sad, like sappy here because when you no. said that, I, don't get sappy. Don't be scared of sappy. No, because I was gonna say that like, she said she's 24 and I, I can think about my 24 year old self and like how what I have accumulated and what I haven't is based on the life experiences that I've had. Yeah. So that's why I felt sad. Yeah. You know, it's like, wow, to be 24, my whole life was completely different. My outfits yeah. were different. My yeah. location was different. So when Amy talks about her age too, it's like she has a, you know, I don't know, you just, the slow build. I feel yeah. like today's theme is totally slow build. And it's yeah. really important because then you not only have memories tied to objects, but they came from a moment in life of a feeling or, you know, a way you were dressing at that point, and it builds a gap in that wardrobe that yeah. can carry you through the rest of time. Totally. Yeah, totally. Which I think is funny because that earring that I pulled up, mm -hmm. I was actually wearing a very similar earring when I met Frank for the first time. So, like, that has huge memories. Yeah. I actually have that earring back at home, like, you know. Yeah. It's broken, but it's good. It's broken, but it's there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stay put. I'm going to jump off. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, we're so coordinated. I know. So I was about to say a little, little, you know, um, So this was interesting when I put this on. I have on the black skirt, black tights, and I wanted to really just keep it a little bit chill for the holidays, but I want it to feel very festive. So again, like, I think I'm... Chris Kane again with this earring. He's got a couple of these earrings again. <laughs> I know. I do love this Jennifer Fisher heart of mine as well. I think that one's like mm -hmm. kind of. A, and maybe, do you feel, maybe I'm doing this one. And yeah. maybe this is a crazy thing, but like mixing metals and colors and prints, do you feel like that also falls into the same pro thought process as when you think of like the ring one through four coloring when you're outfitting? I, I think that like yes you can find a principle around it mm -hmm. but I think that for me in terms of my modifier and I and I say that it's humorous and I also I think in that humor um, what humorous means to me is I don't take myself too seriously and so what I find with the mixing of the metals is that's my way of saying I am not gonna overthink this shit life yeah. is short and if I have got silver shoes and a gold earring I am not going to lose my shit and go yeah. try and find silver earrings to match it. And maybe that goes into the matching furniture set in a way. Like, yeah. It's yeah, the slow like, build. It's, everything eventually does go together I, because you because build I love it, it together. And it's got, and you know that probably when you've been the most frustrated is if you did go on a massive shopping binge all at once. Yeah. And then you could get home and you're like, what have I done? Because there's no way that you were in love with 25 items when you went on your trip. And you they know? probably all fall in the right. same vein, and then you go to your closet and you're like, I don't have anything to wear, and it's those holes in your closet that are missing. So I felt like in this outfit, I kind of, I don't mind the white sandal here because it feels a little more pushed. I think if it were a white closed toe pump, but somehow, uh, if I had on a black sandal, I, I think I would feel too conservative. It would kind of mess with the outfit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I like the white here, but then when I was playing around, when I threw on a jacket over my shoulders, cause it's the holidays, and I did purposely pull out the old Dominic pinstripe from last spring. Last spring. Yeah. Um, because guys, you just keep, you know, you keep wearing your clothes over and over, right? And so in this moment, I needed a black coat that was a little bit oversized, would be a blazer vibe, but also work as a coat. And this was the perfect one. So, you know, when you think about what you need in your closet, you don't need to overlap on the purposefulness of different tools. And so, and that is where people really kind of lose their shit. Um, do we, I didn't think I would like the white sandal with it, but. I mean, you do, right? Yeah, I would wear this. I do too. Like, I feel really. It doesn't feel choppy. Like, no. it feels I like very it. pushed and elevated. Yeah. All right. So, All right. there you go. I mean, I'm pushed and elevated. So, <laughs> from 
from? <laughs> oh, please. Yeah, I mean. Hello. Hello. You guys are killing it in the pink shoes. I, you like, and Grace. Like, I'm not going to lie. Can't. Like, this is a good pink. And I remember seeing this. Like, this is a very different pink for Tibby. I feel like we're such a green brand, like, brand overall. And I well, need this. I don't know. This pop is like something I'm missing in a gap. But it's also very, like, ironic for me. Cause well, I we mean, know why it works, though. Remember, it. to me, remember, when you're wearing a bright color, your eggs, icky, icky mm -hmm. glossy, or sculptural. And this is, actually, this is all three. This is, like, yeah. It's very tactile. It's got ick, it's glossy, and then the heel is very sculptural. So, I mean. I mean, guys, just look. It works, From every right? angle, it's a different. Do not do any crimes in this heel. Right, and I think <laughs> they will know who you are. Had it been baby pink, had it been silk, had yeah. it been a pure oh, gosh. Cotton, kitten heel. Remember the diables that people used to wear to like, as bridesmaids? I mean, it was a thing, like that right? Thing. And I yeah. think that this is where, you know, um, it's the it's the little things like when that hits on all three of those marks, icky, glossy, sculptural. Yeah. You know it's going to fit into your wheelhouse, and so I would never like I well I won't say never, but like I thought about what if this was a boot or if this was a high heel, like would I still want to wear it with this and would I wear it in pink? And I seriously doubt it. Mm -hmm. It's just I think it needs to be a little bit of awkward. Yeah, that little bit of awkward, and and I think too someone wrote to me and she said. I'm really struggling with my modifier and that I, I keep thinking that my modifier is, um, oh fuck, what, what did she say? I've got the memory of a squirrel. Um, it was something like my modifier is, I think it was feminine. Yeah. And I told her, I said, you know what, if modifiers are what you leave someone with in a room. Mm. So if you were leaving the room, if I said, she's feminine I'm I, I was like I think you want to say more than that right mm -hmm. and so I think where it came out as I was like are you wanting to say that you are a, a very thoughtful person or are you wanting to say that you have a very calm disposition about yep. yourself or that you have a lovely approach to handling life and situations you know like that's a thought when someone leaves a room and I'm like you know what God, they're just so lovely in the way that they handle things. But if you left the room and I'm like, she's feminine. Yeah. Sounds like a... I mean, it depends what type of party you should do. Yeah. Um, Not so it, so. It, it, I just had an aha moment. Okay, what is it? Okay, so I've been applying my modifier. We always say like, she's gonna have a modifier party as like the hidden self. Yeah. But when you said that, I was like, what do what I want people to think when I leave the room? And I think it's intelligent. I want people to feel like I'm intelligent. Why are you looking like that? Because you look like I know. I know you're like, ma'am. Because. <laughs> I love that look. You were like, told you so. <laughs> yeah, because I think that for whatever reason, I mean, I, I, you know, I think we could sit on a couch and talk about this for. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it is really important to you. But I also think mm -hmm. that when we talk about do your adjectives change and do your modifiers change? Mm -hmm. Modifiers do change. And so to me, that comment of intelligence is one that I think in a year from now, you're gonna be like, fuck, I am intelligent. Mm -hmm. And I'm leading with that. And right, you, right, right. you already know that. Yeah. And I think for you, it's more of a checkbox on your list to just simply know how smart you are and yeah. check that off yeah and not have the need to prove it anymore and i think you're going to go on to another more interesting modifier or different not more interesting but a different modifier yeah because it's a real thing i mean i you know I, my first job i'm like i want you to think that i'm a confident i business i, I think i've approached things always when i dress that way too yeah. and a part of it is kind of culture it's like i want to show up and show you that i'm capable mm -hmm. and that you see it first and then when i open my mouth it follows mm -hmm. like even putting this together i know that someone that's not in fashion will be like yeah. that matches that and that's two different things and to me that's like a a smart that not everybody can do you know but anyway it's very interesting we're gonna like put a pen this is really good yeah because there's like, a, there are like a lot of conversations happening out there about like well, you can dress, you can dress shabbily because you've got the money to dress shabbily and you're like, yep, right? Like that. that's a whole discussion, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that if that is a discussion, but if you want to really turn it towards something 
very positive and think about what you just said, mm -hmm. I think that once you've got that layer of confidence that I am smart, if you don't mm -hmm. see me as smart, it's your problem, not my problem, then you can go on to the business of mm -hmm. telling some other stories and Interesting. how you're dressed. There you guys. Okay. Anyways, what's next? Therapy. <laughs> that was this is not on our to No, but this is together. how we talk, so that's good. It's yeah, like, like this is, that's why we relate, turning things on here. Yeah. Um, do you mind coming up? I'm going to change my clothes, and I think you're going to change too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. okay by yourself? I, can, I think I can. Okay. Hang. All right. I've been saying that way too much today, um, so I'm going to not use the word hang because <laughs> I don't think I'm <laughs> the age for that. Um, so this is what I would wear, I think, running around for the holidays. This is the Italian Sporty Nylon, recycled Italian Sporty Nylon in the cheetah print in the gray blue. This is the same top I was wearing before, the v-neck. This is an extra small in this top. Um, I'm usually an extra, extra small in tops, but since this was more fitted, and it is a more fitted top than it's what it's supposed to be, um, I did take one size up for my bust area. I am wearing it with the soon to be out Mikhail Ballet Flats that everyone is okay maybe not everyone but like we are internally extremely excited for. No everyone is. Okay everyone is excited. Facts. Facts okay. Um, and for me if I am running around holiday wise I will throw on the luxe tuxedo coat with this um, as I'm spending the holidays Oh, goodness, a dust bunny. Um, in the cold, and I need layers, so I would wear it with this. And I think to take this really as a PDW, um, I would add. Actually, we don't know if we're going to add this. You're about to find out live if I want to add a belt to this or not. Because it might just be the fourth thing, and I don't need it. But let's try. This is the Carlos, I believe, belt. And some part of me is craving a little bit more um so we'll see if we like this i don't i don't know team in the back um oh matt's nodding no no matt I, is I, nodding I, I, I oh, like oh he's nodding yes okay personally but amy's gonna say amy. i think it's a, i don't know tell you yeah my my knee jerk and obviously like this is you and not me but my knee jerk is i'm getting full-on sarah vibes <laughs> But not we spend way, way too much time I together. Like, <laughs> I feel like there's a Sarah Brin mashup baby. Oh, <laughs> if Sarah and I had but a baby, I feel like that baby be might it. be a little confused. Yeah, but that's my no. But I think that's true. That's why I said it might be the fourth thing, and I think it's one thing too much. Whether it's the coat, whether it's the belt, I'm not entirely sure. But this is how we work it. But I'm gonna go with my initial yeah and gut, I'm, which was the jacket, and, and I think. I think too, you know, guys, like we're not like anti friends giving feedback and no. everything, but I think you've got to be able to read the room and read your friend, read your spouse, whoever. And when someone comes out and says, what do you think? That's when you're like, how do you feel? And what, you know, yeah. like you give an opinion, like, yeah, exactly. Well, chaotic for you to me. Yeah. When someone walks out and is like, what do you think? Yeah. That you know what you're supposed to say in that yeah, like Just right. say that, and like, the number right. of people who are like, don't you want to show your body a little bit more? No, it that's not the answer to no. that. You just say, amazing. Amazing. You look like you feel amazing. Like, you look amazing. like you feel amazing. amazing. And, and that's, that's all that matters. And it's not a passive aggressive way of saying that you look amazing. No. It just is. And because it's, it's all nice. very personal and subjective. Yeah. Um, but this, you can say to me, you look like you feel amazing because I do feel amazing in this. Yeah. And this feels very me. It and is I very think it is very me. That 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 is half the battle. And little Sarah Brody, her little that little shit's on the beach somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> having a good, having a very good time. I hope Sarah and not tuning into style class and just enjoying <laughs> yourself. Um, I'm gonna put the blue back, back on now because I'm wearing the navy blue here. I was just about to say this is a navy shirt, a midnight navy. This is the midnight navy crinkle. We've had some questions on if it's black or navy, but definitely navy. We do dark navy, and I will say there was a poll taken in the world, and we were voted best navy. <gasps> they they said Jill Sander has a really good navy really? as well. Really? Wait, who comes up with these polls? I love this. <laughs> no, no one, no one does. But I will say that if there was but we a do poll, have best, we do have the best navy. Although fuck me, because what poll did I? <laughs> no, the poll that I thought 
I knew last week, and I am so disappointed in all of you out there. <laughs> no. The, um, the uh, I know, it's a holiday. I'm sorry. <laughs> the F-bomb. But the, the Tabasco. Oh, 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 yeah. Did more people go for chocolate? The milk chocolate? Yes. Wow. For real? That was crazy. For you know, real? I feel like Christian was he like calling that. people like, he mom, totally mom, vote 20 times. Like, you know? no, he raped that. Something. What? Really? I know, I'm because every person in the photo studio, except for Christian, very interesting, the chocolate. Yeah, because it was a real unanimous thing on our team. Yeah, it was like, a, for the no most part. Everyone was like, Tabasco. That was, that was the easy answer for that, that one. Interesting. Okay. All right, so I am wearing the navy blue crinkle. And I do have a lot of different textures going on, but this is one where when I've got the navy here and these are both navy, I feel quite calm in this, even though I am wearing a black tight and somehow a navy tight would be one too far. But well, I don't- that feels like a sandwich. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, there's your sandwich. Even there's your sandwich. So what I am gonna do though is I, um, the white is fine, like I like it, right? But for me also, like this is holiday time. And so I wanna take this into just a little bit more of a holiday vibe. So I'm gonna switch this to the red shoe. Now I will say, I didn't have my red socks with me. Mm -hmm. I would have done the red socks here. Instead of the black tights. And Yeah, I think so. Because what happens with the red socks with the red shoe is you're just seeing, it's almost like a red boot, right? Yeah, it's like a one. Yeah. So then there's three, three both points. Do you find during the holidays sometimes it can give an excuse for people to dive into their have to haves and, and play more with, with what they're wearing? way because I think like wearing this red here this feels so good but I would also like but I would also say this would be something we would see you in in other times of the year yeah but I think kind of like the kind of almost kitschiness now of mixing oh oh, oh she has that. That. okay so okay. we, we oh, have a tomorrow. vote here oh. um, but I think the kitschiness of the green with the red here feels yeah, yeah. yep yeah. good like as well um, but let's I'm gonna put on one of your socks here over the tight, okay. and we can see how we um, how this makes us feel. I mean, who knew that red socks were gonna be like the, the thing game of the world? I mean, I'm getting targeted ads from every brand. Um, oh, I tried to have something shipped that was red recently, and they were like, mm, in January, and I was like, oh, that doesn't right. hurt me. Um, hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, this, okay, now this feels complete, where for me, this feels a little more like. Broken? Uh, broken up? I just, it's not, it's like if I were to be able to build, okay, this is when, guys, you cannot always have exactly, exactly every single component every time, right? So this is one where like, I like this and I wouldn't throw it away, but I don't have to go run out and buy the red sock right away in order to still like it. But you know, this though, I really do like but it. And it makes it sock. better if you've got it. Go well. for it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Play, try with it. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. Talk with you. Oh, cool. hello. And I have another thing I'm going to try on real quick. Okay. This. So I can hold it down. I was curious about what I would wear if I were going to a friend's house and we were going out, or what does a holiday like that's festive feel like? And so I wanted to see with the rouge top would that give me what I need? But I feel like wearing it with this blazer still feels a little too uptight. And I don't know that I, I don't prefer skin out on top, skin on bottom. It's almost like wearing a mini skirt with like, you know, which are you gonna show? Am I gonna show the top or am I gonna show the bottom? So I have skin on the bottom, skin on the top, and I think I wanna do a sweater. And someone asked me, like, I'm just gonna show you. So I have this on, which you can do multiple ways. I'm wearing it in size 14 and I am, a double D, so do your math on that. <laughs> do your math. Yeah. yeah, do your math on that. I'm just gonna pop over here and I wanna show you what this would look like if I had the sweater and the same heel on. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, Bryn's gonna help me? I'm gonna help you, okay. I'll help this. So that part is detachable, which is I think is a great idea because you can wear it over your shoulders, you can wear it one shoulder, you can kind of stretch it to make it do what you want it. Oh, look at this already. Oh, oh. You know, I just made, I mean, I'm not saying that we need this, but, but. like, I, I might have to do Tracy. that. I know. I'm Tracy. Just, so. What's also great is if you're mid-party, you can just do a little swap. Right. So oh. 
Now, if I'm going somewhere and I have like a heel on, I almost am craving a white heel. You. Oh, oh, like that? <laughs> Ooh, oh, look at her. Okay. So this is the merit, and, and the little getting... white pop is really fun thing about these right. Pants. So like, I know Acacia and well, all of the stylists have posted it, but seeing that white, it's almost like this little color blocking. Yeah. Let's see what, what. So I have on the. Actually, I'm, we talked about like the walkability of this earlier, yeah. and I, it's funny right now. I'm feeling pretty like. Yeah. And I wear, what size is this? I think it's a 40. This is so interesting. I'm a 40 and this is a 39. Oh, and I felt, it? yeah, I felt pretty. Oh, oh no, here. no, that heel is off the back. <laughs> Do like, not size yeah. down. Wrong answer. Do not size down. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this looks like if I put on the white heel. Yeah. All right. And that's the thing, you know, we try on lots of shoes. I mean, you can try on the different shoe colors you have in your wardrobe. Let's just see. Go dogs! Clearly, this is Amy's high school colors. I don't know. Georgia. Georgia. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Whoopsie. Oops. Sorry. Yay, Charlie. Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get. I don't get yeah. into those politics. Southern football politics. No, no. Uh -huh. All right. So yeah. Okay. What do you think about this white shoe? I think it looks great. How do you feel? Is the response I tricked you? No, I'm just joking. But you know what? I, I have to say. To me, like your darker skin tone with that contrast is very chic. Like if I'm wearing that, I want to wear something darker. Like I don't want my fleshy foot. Cut. No, because it's like a gross peachy. Bleh. I don't know. We like, speak positively about ourselves on Style oh, Quest <laughs> at all <yes>. times. <laughs> However, yeah. I know what you're saying. You prefer a contrast. Yeah, like I, you know, That's fair. right? Like That's and, fair. And I love the contrast. I think it's gorgeous. Ooh. Yeah, let me put the yeah. other one on so I can be in full effect. Amazing. All right, I'm just gonna cross you. This um, is a, a weird, weird we process. Go. That's yep. cool. That's cool. cool. Okay, so yeah. I should strap those, but I won't. That's cool. So, so talk to me now. So the the what you did with the white with the black, mm -hmm. and also we were just in black with red, mm -hmm. and now we're in gray. Yeah, I love. I mean, to me, this is really fun here. Can I have the color wheel? What I think is fun here is um, a, a very good inexpensive hint, guys, is, you know, when um, you want colors that are really like around this color wheel, mm -hmm. that company We Love Colors in Miami, this is just one of their gray tights. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is like an $8, I don't want to misspeak, it might be $15, but it's a way to add something really, really interesting. Now, what I would not do is I wouldn't go red earring, red mm. Like All of a sudden, it just makes it Guys. very basic, right? It's too matchy-matchy. It's like, let's throw in the red purse for good measure, and then oh, look at us. The so where do we purse, live yeah. over here? Are you the heart? Um, I think, I think I'm going to, I think I'm doing the heart, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going with the heart. The heart is good. Yeah. Um, okay, and so the one thing though I wanted to see is if, may I switch with you? Yeah. I have, yeah. Did you try red on with that? No, I didn't. So let's see how that will feel. I think we're gonna probably show that yeah. we don't. We don't, we're not into it. Well, or you can even do the red. I'm part. already not into it. I mean, now granted, I'm not, if somebody's into that, oh, you want me to? But I just feel listen. a little too balanced already. I, I'm looking at it and it's not as modern and it's not as forward as I'd like it to be. You guys, like, please. I gotta this, do a brand and just bend This is right? the stuff. This is like, not it. <laughs> it's not like. All right. Like, you can have so here we are. the best clothes, but this can feel very basic. Yeah. I mean, I. Come and not come back to But I am. Um, that, if you got that reference. Yeah, so it's, it's just, um, it's crazy yeah. how it, it takes away from something being very interesting and dynamic. So I know a lot of people that work, like you said, Georgia, there are people that wear all types of colors for, for events, and this is a vibe, but I feel like every person there is gonna have one. Their school colors, their sorority colors in this way that's very balanced, that screams, I wear all of this. And I think just having something else different from everybody would be really nice. Chocolate brown, so anything, yeah. anything, anything but, but the same, anything but that, <laughs> anything but basic. Um, so I just wanted to see here if I'm, if I were to go with like the black 
track jacket. Mm -hmm. I think that, how does this look? I'm, I'm looking in the, it's a little chaotic, right? Yeah, right? it's a little chaotic. I, I feel like, it's funny because I look up and down, up and down, I wasn't resting. Oh yeah, it's quieter with it. So Cause I feel like it's a true ton, but right. it's like a ton in a different way, I don't know. So one of the principles here that we're talking about is the principle of critical thinking in your closet. You really are putting stuff on, you are assessing the situation, you're thinking about where you're going, you're thinking about the terrain, the time, yep. and you are thinking about how you wanna feel, you are experimenting, and then you're problem solving. So all of these are really important critical thinking life skills here, but um, you'll be able to see you can create so many outfits. This is the, um, the bomber jacket, what's his the name? Active the active knit. The active knit. Zipper active knit. And he just came back today. So guys, that's a big deal if yeah. you're waiting. Yeah. So yeah. black, wood, and navy fog now. And, and the Winslow and active knit. And the Winslow uh, is also, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, let me just see here what else we have going on. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing I wanna let you guys know is, this isn't the giveaway yet. Um, what we have set up for the holidays is you can give the gift of a styling session and if you visit your stylist uh, site uh, handle on instagram or if you have a partner husband whatever uh, mother sister brother daughter whatever uh, that you want to maybe give you a fabulous gift you can give the gift of a styling session and if you go on, you'll see like all the details there. And um, as always, we have all of our stylists tagged here. So that leads me, sorry, can I make yeah. one more? Yeah. We also have wish list, which is really important for this gifting season. So at the top where the cart is on our site, there's a star and you can click that star. You have to be signed in. You can send your wish list to people. So if you think that someone might gift you or you're kind of nudging them there, I think it'd be great for you to just send them your wish list. Um, okay, so before we go into the, can I have my red shoe? I, I, mean, I kind of wanted my I'm white. Like, I was like, yeah. I'm like paying them. Like, can you please give me my shoe? It's, it's so funny because I know I'm when I'm cool. looking at this later no. on, I'm going to be like, I was really, very comfortable doing that. I was trying to like, no, and this together. is one where, now I feel um, better. when we talk about how important personal style is, remember oh. it's one third of the way that you communicate. And yes. if you are not communicating correctly, it is like every time you're talking, the different words are coming out. And it's really frustrating. It's why a toddler flails around That's because true. they don't have the words to express what they need. And this uncomfortableness you, you feel, who wrote to me recently that they wore the wrong, just something they were so, uh, not ha oh, Bria yesterday said she had a meeting and she just knew she wasn't in the right outfit and throughout the whole meeting, she just didn't feel like herself. Cause it wasn't that she wasn't in the right outfit, but she wasn't in the right style which was her own style. Okay, so our last um, of the season is the last gift is we are going to give away, not a bright lane. I love my bright lane, guys. I, I'm not gonna give them away. I love them too much. But we are going to give away a $1,500 gift certificate to use at Tibby. And here's the thing that you have to do. Here are all of our lovely stylists this is not the only place you can see them. You're gonna be able to go onto each of the stylist Instagram handles. You will also see the visual there. They will have this visual up at three o'clock when we're done. And what you will need to do is, on the stylist handle, they are going to have a link and you'll go onto the link and you have to fill out the name of each one of the stylists. So, it, anyway, it's actually really easy. You don't have to fill out the name, but you have to name, you have to identify which stylus is which from my drawings. And we can have a debate about how good my drawings are or not, but I need you to name all of the stylus. And whoever does it correctly first is going to win a $1,500 gift certificate. It doesn't matter if you're overseas or not, that is absolutely fine. Um, is there any information about that? No, anymore? that's it, all right. That's it, and um, yeah. what else? Pretty exciting. What else? Um, what else? Gosh, this is the last I stop know. class. I know. Until when? So when are we coming back? Just put on this. Wait, come out here oh, with this over shoe. Yeah. Oh, so wow. that's chill. Modern you see? Yeah, I think that's pretty chill. Thanks. I had them on with the coat. I think the coat was just longer. 
to. Oh, I get it's more chill. Um, what is that? Well, they're in the Whole Foods wrapper. <laughs> Guys, um, we are giving flowers to Bren because she's leaving no. us. And we love her, and I'm glad Sarah's not here because she would be crying like a baby. No. And some of your teammates want to come out and say goodbye. And Bryn is moving overseas. And she's going. We're really sad. They're not in the frame. And you are always part of our family, and we love you so much. And everyone come out. They just want to say goodbye. Wait, do you have tunes to match with this? Hold on. Sorry. Oh, my God. just want to say goodbye. But, guys, she's, she, you'll still be with us. And yeah. like, we're going to still have you be able to contact people and do things. And we love you. You are an amazing woman. And oh, God. No. We miss you. And we will see you in the new year. And um, oh my god, I love this team. I'm really sad to go. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Bye.